Hi there, so today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can download this custom pack that we had previously installed um, and add on additional icons that maybe we didn't think to include the first time we downloaded it. Um, so this actually assumes that you have an icon pack installed to the plugin already. Um, so here we go. First thing you want to do is go to the custom pack page and select download click download the JSON file. As you can see here we have our JSON file um, and what this JSON file is is essentially it's a set of data that we're going to import back into IcoMoon that tells uh, the IcoMoon app which icons were included in our original pack. Um, so this allows for easy importing um, old packs that we've created and things like that. So let's go to the IcoMoon app website and we're going to select import icons select the JSON file that you just downloaded and as you can see we have all of our icons that are in, that are in our pack um, the same exact ones so it's pretty cool now let's say we want to add more icons that we didn't think to include the first time and maybe we actually have a use for some now um, so go ahead and click on more icon sets and select any of these icon sets to um, include and add on to your existing pack I'm just going to go ahead and select the Entypo pack here. Um, so as you can see down at the bottom, these are all the icons that already exist in our pack. So say we wanted to add some social media icons that we didn't include the first time. Um, so we'll go ahead and select Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Dribbler. Um, and that should, that should about do it. Go ahead, um, select Font. And as you can see, all of our new social media icons have been mixed in with our existing icons here. Go ahead and click download. There you have the zip file. Now we can go back into the WPSVG icon plugin and we can uninstall the existing pack. So go ahead and click uninstall. You should get a success message. Once that's successfully uninstalled, we're just going to want to re import the zip file that we just downloaded. Once that's completed uploading, you'll notice that our new social media icons are mixed in with the previously installed pack. Um, and all of our existing packs all have the same class, or all of our existing icons still have the same icon names um, and class names. So any icons that you've installed before adding on these new icons will still uh, exist on your site. And it is that simple. Thanks for watching and thanks for using the plugin.